second, honey, don't mess with him. Because he's Natty's good friend, Miles Lawrence. Is this the role in jail? V. Miles Lawrence, who was accused of abducting Todd Manning, the man who inherited Spencer Truman's entire estate. Did your guilty conscience lead you to disclose the whereabouts of Mr. Manning's son? Didn't you, in effect, set this whole kidnapping situation into motion? No, it, all the charges against me have been dropped. How do you feel now that Mr. Manning is still separated from his son? Is part of you glad? Hey, uh, you know, that was the exact kidnapping, because Marcy and Michael, they adopted Tommy. But they wouldn't have been able to do that if he had disclosed what he knew. I reiterate, aren't you the person behind this whole situation? You know, you make it sound like I knew all this all along. Oops, sorry, sorry, I'm just so hard. And who are you? Uh, someone can give you a much better angle than you. Hey, 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 such a day go. You know, this battle could have lead to for lunch. Would you and your camera band like this? Sure. 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 Well, I guess it's safe to say that, uh, we exceptionally well. Yeah, except that we just pick on my phone. You're asking me what was more important, being straight with you, or admitting the fact that my parents were never coming home. I would have kept on like I was. I know you don't like hearing that any more than I like saying it. But... It is what it is. I get it. I do. I mean, when we first... I'm not angry that you missed dinner. I'm angry that you didn't bother to call to explain why. And then you try to charm your way out of it when I show up here. I see. Oh, Clems, how can you ever forgive me? What's that supposed to mean? It was a lapse. I mean, I stood you up for dinner, and then I had the temerity not to call you for, what, 24 whole hours. I... Failing to, to check in with you, to let you know about my whereabouts, to grovel. Oh, you're going to great me. Uh, because that is what you really want. An apology. You know, maybe if I really were underneath a bookcase, you would overlook it. But, oh no. What could be going on in my little life that's more important than you are? I don't know what you're talking about, but I'm talking about a two-minute phone call. No, you're talking about control, because you are like every other man on this oh, planet. Oh, oh yes, you go to bed with a woman, and you think, oh, you've now got to be the, the sun in her orbit. Don't you turn this into a feminist rap. I was worried about you. No, you weren't. Your nose was out of joint, so you came over here to put me in my place. No, I didn't. I was worried about you, but I'm not now. No, I'm mad. Oh, yes. Enjoying every second of it. What is wrong with you? You tell me. You seem to have everything all figured out. Hey. Yeah. We're still laughing. Oh, thanks. Oh, hey. You, you know, do you have um, you know, some kind of a, a cap, a baseball cap or something that I can borrow? Can I get the feeling that every cup in the tri-state area is going to be my channel? Hey, hey, hey. Yeah. Hey. What? 
Are you sure about this, huh? Yeah, maybe. You would understand, okay? Well, if and when I decide you're right, I won't be able to tell you. I won't know where you are. Why? Hey, don't start with me. You're my baby sister. I, I'll back you on any decision you think is best, but are you sure you're not just panicking right now? Panicking? You saw Todd Manning for yourself this morning. He ransacked your apartment. His goons strangled you half to death. If you had a son, would you just give up, Ron? Would you give up and would you let him raise him? What about Michael? I don't care about Michael. Well, you're taking Tom no. away from him, too. He lied to me. He lied to me and he gave up on my family. So that's it. You're never going back to landing. I'm not going to let some convicted rapist raise my son. My son, Ron, he is the only child I am ever going to have. And I'm not going to let him raise him. He, he tried to kill him. All right, and as far as Michael goes, I don't care about him anymore. Ron, I don't care what he thinks. I don't care what he believes. End of story. So let's stop talking about it. Uh, you can uh, pack the rest of your stuff. I'll keep my eye on the TV. Thank you. I'm here with Dr. Marcy Bain, husband of future Marcy Bain. Dr. Bain, is there something you'd like to say in your life? Marcy, honey? Marcy, honey? Marcy, honey? Wherever you are, I love you.